Hey, what's going on, people? Your boy, man, Mike, coming at you guys for more Atlanta Hawks content. And this goes out to Fred Butts. If you guys have a question like Fred Butts, uh, ask, leave it, ask Matt Mike in the comment section, and I will make a video exclusively for you. All right, so this goes out to Fred Butts. Do you think the Atlanta Hawks will go get another superstar, a dominant center, because we're uh, a piece away, and Clint Capella plays soft, um, look, I just totally disagree with the notion that Clint Capella plays soft. I think Clint Capella is the only reason why the Atlanta Hawks are somewhat, well, I'll just say that they made it this far. Because when you look at the defensive side of the ball, you're not going to get much defensively from John Collins. Let's just be real. You're not going to get a lot from John Collins. He's a athletic power forward. Doesn't play a whole lot of defense. Not to say that he's terrible, but he doesn't play a lot of defense. You're definitely not going to get any defense out of Danilo Gallinari. Going to get some good offense, but for the most part, you're not going to get you know you know any defense from. Him. Okay, so you get you know a steal, you know some nice position in him, you know taking the charge here and there. But outside of that, you're not going to get. But Defensively, I think when you talk about, you know, a big man, a center, um, you know, I, I just don't see a lot of guys out there. You look at Andre Drummond, um, if he were to be a free agent, I think he's possibly a guy that could come to Atlanta, you know, add some defense. And he's a guy that can, you know, play, uh, you know, play some pretty good offense. He's a pretty good guy. He can get you 20 and 10, um, you know, at any given night. Just, you know, I just don't think he's the right piece for, you know, LeBron and the Lakers. Um, but he's a guy that you could possibly bring in um, with a reasonable price. Um, but, you know, give Big O, you know, he's about 6'9", 6'10". Um, you know, give him time to kind of, uh, you know, develop. But, you know, also offensively, I don't think he's a guy that's going to improve too much offensively. He's an upgrade offensively over Clint Capella, but I just totally disagree with the notion that Clint Capella plays soft. I just don't think that you take, you know, you, you're going against a guy like, you know, Brooke Lopez. Brooke Lopez isn't the same Brooke Lopez, um, but he still has a nice, you know, skill set. You know, he's always had a nice skill set. He's one of the better uh, big men in the league when you're talking about his consistencies over the years. He's had his uh, issues as far as injuries and, you know, uh, you know, being, uh, you know, inconsistent, but he's still a very good big man. So, I like, I would not, you know, you're talking about going against guys like, um, you know, Joel Embiid, who's perhaps the best center in the league. Like, you got to give him a break, man. Like, this dude puts up 30 against everybody. So, you don't, try to you know downgrade what clint capella has done for this organization because he's going against the best there in the league that's what enjoy and b does to everybody so he isn't soft i don't think he's that bad he's not great offensively at all he's going to give you you know a couple of dunks here and there and a couple layups here and there but like that's not his job his job is to come here play defense get rebounds so we can have extra possessions this not okay this is not the reason why the hawks brought him in so clint capella um i don't think there's a lot of centers out there that's going to be better than what clint capella can give you he's a solid defender he's a great rebounder he's a great a good shot blocker that's what he does so i like like i said i don't think clint capella is a bad center it's just when you have guys like John Collins who are not necessarily doing too much on the defensive side, it puts a lot of pressure on Clint Capella to be dang near unstoppable defensively and, you know, play at a high level consistently. So let me know what you guys think about that, man. Leave your comments below. All right. You, again, if you guys have any questions, leave X Matt Mike, whether it's a line of Falcons content, um, NFL content, it doesn't matter. I will do my best to answer those questions. Leave your comments below. Your boy, man, Mike is out, man. Peace.